Now, whether you're a seasoned fragrance connoisseur or someone who's just getting started exploring the world of scents, with so many colognes on the market, it can be very overwhelming to pick the perfect one. That's why I compiled on today's list 16 of the greatest fragrances of all time. Colognes that have stood the test of time and continue to be loved by many. We'll get into the history, the unique qualities, and the ingredients to make these cologne legends. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating, every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Preston McLeod, salute. Now, first up on the list of the greatest colognes of all time, we have a mid to late 90s classic, one that impressed immediately and has remained relevant for over 35 years. It's a citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy, classic scent. I'm talking about none other than Aqua de Joe. Aqua de Joe is marine, it's smooth, it's spicy, it's classic, it's crisp. And it has arrived at its great scent with a combination of top notes of lime, bergamot, lemon, and orange, mid notes of coriander, rosemary, along with some seed notes, and then you have base notes of cedar, musk, amber, oak moss, and patchouli, all combined to give you this fresh, crisp, smooth, sensual, timeless fragrance. Aqua de Joe is just a sharp, citrus, marine, warm masterpiece. It's pleasant, it's versatile, easy to wear. A 1996 release, no doubt one of the greatest colognes of all time, Aqua de Joe. Now next up on the list of the greatest colognes of all time, we're talking about an all-time classic, a heavyweight in the game. It's woody, it's smooth, it's clean, it's fresh, it's masculine. We're talking about none other than Eau Sauvage by Christian Dior. This one has been a banger since 1966. It's citrusy, it's aromatic, it's fresh, it's spicy. And it arrives at this great scent with a combination of top notes of lemon, bergamot, basil, and rosemary, mid notes of jasmine, patchouli, and sandalwood, and base notes of oak moss, musk, amber, and vetiver, all combined to give you this masculine, warm, crisp, fresh, but woody scent. Eau Sauvage by Christian Dior is refined, it's sophisticated, it's elegant. To me, Eau Sauvage is a spray and forget about it, especially during the warmer months. Eau Sauvage is a true gentleman scent, a pillar of the men's fragrance community. It's timeless, it's fresh, it's bright, it's clean. You want an all-time great? Grab yourself a bottle of Eau Sauvage by Christian Dior. Next up on the list, we have a personal favorite of mine, a 2006 release. It's warm, it's smooth, it's clean, it's fresh, just a banger. A great aromatic woody scent. I'm talking about YSL Lone. Now when this one came out in 2006, I bought it and it stayed in my rotation for well over 15 years. It's smooth, it's sensual, it's woody, and slightly floral. And it arrives at this great scent with a combination of top notes of ginger, bergamot, and lemon, mid notes of spices, vita leaf, and white cedar, and base notes of tonka bean, cedar, and vetiver all combined to give you this clean, intimate, romantic, woody, smooth scent. In my opinion, YSL Ohm is a modern masterpiece that will go down in the history books. This one is an ultimate signature scent. You can wear this every day for the rest of your life. A hands down, all time classic, you definitely wanna check out YSL Lone. Now next up on the list, we have one of the statement fragrances of the 90s, the go-to club or date night cologne. I'm talking about 1995's Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mans. Now, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mans is vanilla, it's fresh, it's green, it's aromatic. From the bottle design to the fragrance itself, what a classic. And it arrives at its classic scent with a combination of top notes of lavender, mint, cardamom, and bergamot, mid notes of cinnamon, orange blossom, and caraway, and base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, and amber, all combined to give you this powerful, crisp, fresh, but warm, smooth, creamy scent. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mans has been a compliment monster for over 25 years. What you get is smooth, vanilla, slightly powdery, but oh so masculine. With just the right hint of warmth, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mans is a classic for a reason. Now next up on the list of the greatest colognes of all time, we have a 2007 release that's warm, it's woody, it's sophisticated, it's luxurious. I highly recommend you check out Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Tom Ford's Oud Wood is sensual, 
It's smoky, it's rich, it's elegant, it's sophisticated. One of my favorite warm woody scents. And to arrive at this great scent, it combines oud wood, sandalwood, and Chinese pepper to give you a scent that's woody, smoky, refined, just a grown man classic. Time for an oud wood just tells the world you've arrived. You're mature, you're sophisticated. It's just classy, masculine, and smooth. Woody warm and slightly sweet. Beautiful, spicy, warm, woody scent. Hands down, one of the greatest fragrances of all time. You definitely want to check out Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Now, next up on the list, we have another 2000s release. One that no doubt is a modern masterpiece. It's woody, it's earthy, it's crisp, it's smooth. I'm talking about none other than Terre Dermez. Terre Dermez is citrusy, it's woody, it's spicy, it's aromatic. Very unique, very distinct. It's green, it's peppery, it's crisp. And it arrives at its classic fragrance with a combination of top notes of orange and grapefruit, mid notes of pepper and flint, and base notes of cedar, patchouli, and vetiver. All combined to give you this citrusy, warm, earthy, green masterpiece. In my opinion, Terre de Mez is timeless yet modern, appealing and captivating. It's just a wonderful, masculine, earthy, warm, green scent. Want a great, warm, earthy, green scent? Check out Terre d'Hermes. Now next up on the list, we have a fragrance that's often referred to as the King of Colognes, and it's for good reason. Since it's released in 2010, it took the fragrance world by storm. I'm talking about none other than Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus is leathery, it's smoky, it's woody, and it has a distinct pineapple scent. Now when we're talking about an all-time fragrance, you know it's made its mark when it's not only revered, but it also gets backlash. It's just that good. And it arrives at this fantastic scent with a combination of top notes of pineapple, bergamot, black currant, and apple. You have mid notes of birch, patchouli, and jasmine, base notes of musk, oak moss, and vanilla. All combined to give you this elevated, sophisticated, smooth, yet slightly sweet scent. And it's such a great scent, it's probably inspired more clones than any other fragrance I can think of. And don't let people fool you when they say everybody wears this. It starts at around $400. Everybody's not wearing this. An all-time classic and a modern masterpiece, you definitely want to check out Creed Aventus. Now next up on the list, we have another modern classic that was released in 2010. And one of the go-to colognes any guy who got into fragrances over the last decade often reaches for. I highly recommend you check out Blue de Chanel. Blue de Chanel is citrusy, it's woody, it's spicy, it's aromatic. A modern masterpiece in my opinion. The signature scent for the modern gentleman. And it arrives at this fantastic fragrance with a combination of top notes of grapefruit, lemon, and mint, mid notes of nutmeg, ginger, and jasmine, and base notes of incense, vetiver, cedar, and sandalwood. All combined to give you this refined, smooth, crisp, fresh, yet warm scent. Blue de Chanel, definitely a crowd pleaser. This one can be your signature scent. It's incredibly smooth and it just gets the job done. I predict men will be wearing Blue de Chanel 50 years from now. No doubt a modern masterpiece, check out Blue de Chanel. Next up, we have a fantastic late 80s release. One that's a standard bearer for aromatic aquatic scents. It's green, it's marine, it's fresh, it's crisp. I'm talking about none other than Davidoff Cool Water. Now when we're talking about an all-time classic for a fresh, clean, crisp, smooth scent, it gets no better than Cool Water. It's aquatic, it's bright, it's fresh. And it arrives at its classic scent with a combination of top notes of seawater, lavender, and mint, mid notes of sandalwood, neroli, and geranium, base notes of cedar, tobacco, and musk. All combined to give you what I believe is a bar setter when it comes to a fresh, clean, warm weather scent. Dolph's Cool Water has been an inspiration for many aromatic scents that came after it. And there's nothing like the original. It's bright, it's clean, it's fresh, it's smooth. An all time fresh green scent, I highly recommend you check out. Davidoff's Cool Water. Now next up, we have a 90s legend that has remained a classic. An aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody scent. I'm talking about none other than Calvin Klein's Eternity. Talk about a 90s banger, no doubt Calvin Klein Eternity fits that bill. This is just an iconic scent. It's clean, it's crisp, it's sharp. And it arrives at this great scent with a combination of top notes of lavender, lemon, bergamot, and orange, mid notes of sage, juniper berries, and coriander, and base notes of sandalwood, vetiver, amber, and musk. All combined to give you a clean, fresh, warm, spicy classic. Calvin Klein's Eternity is clean, it's fresh, it's balanced, it's versatile. It's approachable, cool, and classy. This is one you can wear every day. You wanna talk about an all-time classic that has remained relevant since its release in 1990? You definitely wanna check out Calvin Klein's 
eternity. Now, next up on the list, we have a cologne I probably recommended just about as much as any other fragrance on this channel. A modern masterpiece from the 2000s. It's warm, it's spicy, it's amber, it has a nice hint of tobacco. I highly recommend you check out Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Now when it comes to me recommending the best first date night cologne, I always recommend Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Because it's warm, it's smooth, but it's not overpowering. Just a great woody, spicy, romantic scent. And it arrives in this fantastic scent with a combination of top notes of coriander, basil, and grapefruit, mid notes of ginger, cardamom, and orange blossom, and base notes of amber, tobacco, and cedar, all combined to give you this warm, intoxicating, smooth, elegant scent. Dolce & Gabbana's The One is the ultimate get close to me scent. So if you want a warm, sensual, masculine scent that isn't obnoxious but still gets the job done, I highly recommend you check out Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Next up on the list, we have an all-time heavyweight. One that's been a classic so long, it's even older than I am. A legendary men's fragrance from 1966. I highly recommend you check out Aramis. Now Aramis is aromatic, it's warm, it's woody, it's smooth, it's very masculine. Sharp, powerful, green, fresh, and warm. And it arrives at its classic fragrance with a combination of top notes of aldehydes, myrrh, thyme, and bergamot, mid notes of patchouli, jasmine, and sage, and base notes of leather, sandalwood, oak moss, and vetiver. A combination that gives you a woody, sharp, masculine, elegant scent. Aramis is green, leathery, warm, and sensual. An all-time classic since its release in 1966, one of the greatest colognes of all time, Aramis. Now, if you really want to talk about an all-time great, how about a cologne that's been around for over a century? It's crisp, it's woody, it's aromatic, it's elegant, just a standard bearer. I'm talking about Aqua de Parma Colonia. Now this one definitely a Hall of Fame fragrance. Citrusy, it's aromatic, it's woody, it's fresh. And it arrives at this great scent by combining lavender, citrus, rose, jasmine, and light musk. All combined to give you this crisp, fresh, clean, slightly soapy scent. A sophisticated floral citrus masculine scent that you can wear every day for the rest of your life. It's refreshing, it's radiant, it's timeless. I mean, it's been one of the best colognes since 1916. An all time, no doubt, greatest cologne of all time? Check out Aqua de Parma Colonia. Now next up on the list of the greatest colognes of all time, we have a mid 80s masterpiece that sets the bar for green, crisp, earthy cologne. I highly recommend you check out Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Green Irish Tweed is citrus, it's amber, it's fresh, it's crisp, it's earthy. Just a green aquatic classic. And it arrives at this great scent with a combination of top notes of lemon, verbena, and iris. It has a mid note of vitamin leaf and base notes of ambergris and sandalwood. All combined to give you this earthy green classic cologne. A versatile grown man scent that's gentlemanly, classy, and smooth. Definitely want to check out Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Now next up on the list, we have a cologne that has to be included, no matter how much people may make fun of their father or grandfather from always having worn it. I'm talking about none other than Old Spice. Now Old Spice is a 1938 release. It's clean, it's powdery, it's masculine, gives it a great barbershop feel. And it arrives at its classic scent with a combination of top notes of aldehydes, orange and lemon, mid notes of carnation, geranium and lavender, and base notes of vanilla musk, cedar and tonka bean all combined to give you your father's favorite cologne, or maybe your grandfather. Old Spice gives you a timeless, crisp, warm, fresh, clean scent. Spice is definitely a cologne that will give you that nostalgic feel. Fresh, pleasant, clean, and crisp, an all-time classic, no doubt. You might even still wanna check out Old Spice. Now, next up on the list, we have an all-time classic from 1988. The first cologne I wore back in high school. Yes, I know I'm dating myself. It's leathery, it's masculine, it's warm, it's woodsy. I highly recommend you still check out Dior's Fahrenheit. Now when it was time to throw on a manly, warm, leathery scent in the 80s and in the 90s, Dior Fahrenheit was definitely the go-to. Woody, warm, spicy, and leathery. And it arrives at this fantastic scent with a combination of top notes of nutmeg flower, cedar, and mandarin orange, mid notes of violet leaf, nutmeg, and cedar, and base notes of leather, vetiver, amber, and musk, all combining you this sharp, warm, woodsy, spicy scent. Dior Fahrenheit just oozes masculine, warm, and rugged. And I'll tell you a little secret, although you may think it's dated, women still love Fahrenheit. Woodsy, warm, spicy, leathery legend. One of the greatest colognes of all time, definitely wanna check out Dior Fahrenheit. 